Welcome back to Recap Central. Today I'm going to explain a horror film called Alive. Spoilers ahead. The movie is about the struggles of a gamer to survive in his apartment during the zombie apocalypse. Before everything fell apart, Jun Wu, the protagonist, was a gamer. That morning, Yun Wu woke up and saw a letter from his mom, telling him the whole family has left and he should buy groceries. But when he turns on the TV, he discovers something is going on outside. He sees people fighting and assaults that have already been reported. People are running and screaming while others are violently biting and scratching others. When he opens the door, the neighbor rushes in. He begs to stay, but Jun Wu refuses, pointing a knife at him and asking him to leave. The neighbor's eyes start bleeding, indicating he is transforming. He attacks Jun Wu, but luckily he manages to push him out and locks the door. He gets a message from his parents saying they are safe. But he can't speak to them as the signal is gone. From the beginning, he decides he will survive. He organizes his food, checks the apartment, and even drinks some of his dad's fancy booze. He blocks the door with the fridge and uploads his direction on social media, hoping someone will rescue him. He flies his drone, trying to get signal, but it runs out of battery. His neighborhood becomes overrun with infection. Another infected man breaks into the apartment, but Jun Wu tricks him into falling off the balcony. He learns from the news that some infected still retain some intelligence and can even remember skills from their life. Two weeks pass, and Jun Wu walks around drunk on rum, and he hallucinates about his family due to hunger and thirst. He snaps out of it and breaks down, crying. He checks his phone and signal is back momentarily. He receives a message from his family's last moments. They are hiding in his father's office, but soon the message turns to crying and screaming. He is distraught as he listens to his family getting eaten alive at the hands of the infected. Not knowing what to do, he grabs a golf club and heads into the hallway full of infected. He tries to beat and clobber as many of them as he can while screaming and shouting at them. Jun Wu falls into depression and attempts to kill himself. While he chokes, he sees a laser shining at him from the building in front of him. He manages to free himself. Yubin waves at him. An infected firefighter climbs up a cable. Yubin tied to a table, attempting to make a zip line. The table gets pulled across the apartment and knocks her out. Despite Yun Wu's distractions, the infected man reaches her balcony, but he falls to his death when she wakes up and cuts his arm. Yun Wu steals food, clothing, and walkie-talkies from his neighbor. He sends a walkie-talkie to Yubin so they can communicate. They talk and start bonding. Yubin reveals she also attempted suicide, with a broken noose shown hanging from her ceiling. An infected horde becomes agitated as Yubin knocks over a shelf, but Yun Wu distracts them by calling the house next to hers. Yun Wu and Yubin make a plan to move to the top floor, which seems abandoned. The pair gear up. Repel down their balconies and fight their way to the eighth floor of Jun Wu's apartment, thinking no one lives on that floor. However, after getting on that floor and fighting a bunch of zombies, the duo realizes the floor isn't empty, but it's infested with zombies. As the zombies attack the pair, an old man rescues them. He tells them a rescue team is on the way to save all of them. He says he heard talks of a rescue team over the radio and they will be rescued soon. The man seems suspicious. He gives them food and water. As they eat, Yubin sees pictures of a couple and their child. She also sees milk bottles, but doesn't see a child. She asks the man where his kid is, but he says he doesn't have one. Yun Wu falls asleep from drugs in the food, and Yubin realizes they have been drugged, and the man isn't who he claims to be. The man drags Yubin to a room where his zombie wife is waiting for her meal. He thanks them for coming and says his wife has been starving for months. Yun Wu wakes up and points a gun at the man. He threatens to shoot him if he doesn't let Yubin go. Yun Wu hears the screaming in the room stop and assumes the worst. The man opens the door to check on his wife, but Yubin falls on him with his wife covered by a piece of fabric. Yubin releases the wife onto the man and he surrenders to his wife's attacks. Yubin shoots them both. The gunshots attract more infected. With no hope in sight, Yubin decides shooting themselves is the best option. Yun Wu agrees and forces himself to point the gun at Yubin. As he hesitates, they hear helicopters flying outside. The pair rush to the roof while being chased by the infected. As they are about to be overwhelmed, an army helicopter shoots the horde and takes the pair to safety. As they fly out, Yun Wu gets reception and learns a huge chunk of the area has been infected with an estimated 50,000 infected. 
He also learns many survivors posted their direction on social media like he did and the rescue team is using the information to rescue them. A voiceover informs us that internet has been restored and many people are being rescued.